Remember, baby, you're spending blood money. My blood money. Goodbye, Michael. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Some bad drivers, but you! Woo -hoo -hoo. Shit!
Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I... I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this... episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I... I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. I've been doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. Any input? I really just want to be happy, Doc. That's so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait, wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but. That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay.
witches, Karkos! Hey, Frank. So, you want to keep an old man company? Oh, sure. It'd be good to kick it with you, man. But call me if you need to cancel or something. Great. I'm on my way. Hey man, let's go. Hey man. It's good seeing you, man. Socially, I mean. Yeah, you too, kid. I guess I've uh, I've been kind of lonely. You know what I mean? I love living here, but I never made too many friends. I've been kind of stuck in my head. I'll get you. Yeah, you will. Just wait until you're my age. You got nothing but bad choices and worse choices behind you. And mistakes you haven't made yet, but know you're gonna make ahead of you. Yeah, you'll remember then. Jesus, sounds heavy. What happened? My old life. I was living in the Midwest, you know, up to absolutely no good. Then Amanda gets pregnant, she gets pregnant again. Suddenly I got two kids and I'm running with maniacs. I was in a difficult position. Had to make some choices. And? And I did it. Got on with my life. That's that.
We close to a cinema. Let's go get some drinks, dog. Man, good to see you. For real, man. See you soon. Love you, Tony. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotion, please. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the. Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Same. I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still you suck love cock you, Tony. Get a hold of yourself. You're in over and your head, you and you're up there. doing nothing really because i keep hearing hermaphrodite this a cop that go away what you know, go watch your linear entertainment go watch porn just go away shit fuck you what the fuck disrespect a little asshole i can't believe you did that that's my tv you don't talk to me like that i can't believe you mom was right about you 
You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, but damn! Don't push me! Seriously! Some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to, to protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. If I beat you to the end of... Here, you're buying me a new TV. Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Hey, Pop, if you're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis. Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. If you bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. Hey, hey, you can never call me back the next day.
Like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Look, if you do go, don't say I told you. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! Come. I like that! What's problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on, now. I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Shit, they're coming after us. Go into the outlet. All right, all right. them down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Come on, let us go. Just go, okay, go. Back up, you prick. Looks like this is the way out! Back off, assholes! Come on, let us go! Hey, hey, motherfucker! Back up, you pricks! Looks like this is the way out! Back off, assholes! Come on, let us go! Fuck, 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 I think we lost them! Oh, I'm going to die! They're 
They're gone? Cool. See, it's okay. I'll take you back to Jim. Okay? No, it's not okay! Not at all! Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased! Jimmy? Okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what? You send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 